Hey, hey, this is a why take politics here. Yeah. yeah, man, I want to talk about uh, Nathaniel Savin and his fucking zombies. You know, they, they like I say, they they under the 501c3 charter. You know, I mean, don't tell them what's on that contract he signed. But I know it involves not mentioning the name of the Lord. And uh, I want to give a special shout out to that to that uh, new Israelite group that I just heard of called Chosen Seed. Man, they they obliterated you motherfuckers. Uh, I saw the video, man, and I advise you, you brothers, go to my blog and check out that uh, second video. It was from another site. They got two channels, so I, I put it on the uh, on my blog. And then a ramlot, they they obliterated they ass so bad. Chosen Seed destroyed the I O the I U I C uh, 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 group. I think a thon and the Haitian madman. They the motherfuckers, man. They got the, they got obliterated so bad that Elder a ramlot from G M S came up with with some revelation that uh Hebrew is the language of the heavens. You know Shemaya, you know and uh. It's, it, it was very deep, man, to see, you know, how they were so confounded, man. They couldn't even respond, man. And then the Haitian madman, he was like, you know, his, his response was like, We are learned men up here. We, we wear cheap suits, but we, we still, we, we, we learned men. You know, some to that effect. I, you know, I briefly paraphrase. I don't know what the fuck he said exactly, but I remember him saying, we learnt men. We, 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 we learnt. Learnt what? You ain't learn shit. You know, Nathaniel, he's he's teaching y'all lies. He, he got y'all not teaching the Hebrew. And, you know, and you're supposed to be called Hebrew Israelite. What sense do that make? Like the brother brought out that's a part of the chosen seed. How you gonna call yourself Hebrews and don't learn the Hebrew? What, what the fuck kind of sense is that, man? You guys are blind as fuck, man. And, uh... And he right to, to, to rebuke you motherfuckers, man. That's why GMS, Elder Tahar, always stay on y'all ass, man. Y'all just, y'all off. And you will come to naught. Especially you teaching that the mark of the beast is some kind of embargo. I mean, what kind, what the hell is this doctrine? You know, and, uh, and yeah, this is my depiction of, uh, you know, Nathaniel, Nate, as they call him. You know, he swear he's leading some man, but he's a very unlearned man. He and he leading you guys down the wrong tunnel, and he bringing more and he heaping more members to himself because they see the fancy suits and the cadence of the uh, you know military drill tactics. You know that impress young Jake. You know he like won't be a part of that. You know, and so they they get deceived into that. They get seduced into that doctrine that he teaching. You know. And he know he teaching wrong. He know the truth. He came from one west. Elder to heart taught his stupid ass. But he just want to rebel. And uh, and like I said, I'm going to pull this uh, picture up. Let me see. Yeah, it says followers. Up here we got a thon, you know, with big ass eyes, man. I saw in the video when Chosen Seed was, was destroying the ass, man. His eyes just... You know, got bigger and bigger, man. It's like he just, he saw something. He saw the truth for the first time in his life. And uh, and this nigga here, that's the Haitian. He said, to lay hold means to agree. And this, this bitch ass, I got him on here. And then this motherfucker here, man, that uh, Arizona camp destroyed them, man. That a uh, damsel is 12 years old. You know, you can't get around that. And he kept on screaming, you know. On a right 12 year old gun, like 12 year old gun, like a bitch. You know, he got destroyed by, by them brothers, man. Got cut up. And this is Isaac. This is Rita. I guess that's his favorite. His ass be looking dismal, wearing shades all the goddamn time, man. That's that's a true zombie. You know, and like I say, man, they, these guys are finished, man. And they follow Nate. And I want to get on somebody else, man. I want to get on uh, uh, my boy. Let me see. Let me pull this up. I got it kind of little. Pull this up a little bit. Yeah. Get on my boy. Zabak. 
is a bot. Yeah, this this ain't got good resolution. But yeah, he you know Zabak he, he in the clean ass suits, you know you know garments he come out there man, and shit you know he he, he kind of flamboyant in a way, but he going off with the mark of the beast man. And everybody said man don't get on Zabak 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 all right man fuck Zabak Zabak going off, and he know he going off, you know and like I can say he teaching that same shit. Similar to what Nathaniel teaching, talking about the mark of the beast is the uh, embargo, nation embargo, or some shit, man. You have to go look at it yourself, cause I, I couldn't receive it, man. It just it didn't make sense, and, and, and you cannot deceive people with the simplicity that is in Christ, and, you know. And I'm a uh, I'm gonna go to that uh, scripture and see if we can find nation embargo in there. Okay, it's Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. This is the Blue Letter Bible. Everybody should know about Blue Letter Bible. Thanks to Elder Tahar and GM at Great Millstone. You know, they brought out this, uh, you know, this site that has the Bible. And everybody goes to it now because of GM at Great Millstone. And everybody know the mark of the beast. You know, because of Great Millstone. And see, they don't want to accept that doctrine because Great Millstone been pushing it since since that the truth got a lot of uh, attention on YouTube, you know. So they proud, man. They, they don't want to, uh, you know, receive that, that, you know, that it's the mark of the beast. It's the chip, the RFID chip. And, okay, now let's find out if Nation Embargo is in this verse. And he calls it all both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Now, where's nation embargo at? I, I, I don't see it in there. I mean, he went to some scripture in Ezekiel. He pulled that out of his ass. I, I still can't. Uh, my spirit didn't let me receive it, man. And that no man might buy or sell. I guess nation embargo mean buy a uh, uh, man. No man mean nation embargo. I guess buy or sell. Save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name and we all know it's a uh, 666 you know the man was created on the sixth day so you know it, it, it's the six has a, a significant meaning in the spiritual wisdom you know but here now I, I, to give him a benefit of, of a doubt he said uh, I'm a pity right here he said both small and great meaning nations how could you say that, man? It don't. It, it has to say it in the scriptures first. Rich or poor, free or bond. So you know it. it it's significantly talking about individuals, meaning if you rich or poor. I mean, it said it in the scripture. It ain't say nothing about no damn nation embargo, small nation and great nation. I mean, it don't say that, man. So he, he's pulling the scripture out of there, and then they following him. You know, and, and y'all say, why you cursing them out, brother? You, you don't fuck to curse nobody out, man. Well, let's show you the scripture that, that say you're supposed to curse these motherfuckers out. We're going to go to Galatians chapter 1, verse 8. But though we or any angel or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel, like the mark of the beast is not the chip, unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. It's in red letters. A curse. Let that motherfucker be a cursed. Because he going off. That's right. He a motherfucker. Let him be a cursed. I mean, I'm supposed to curse his ass out. Fuck Zabak. Shit, I don't give a damn how y'all feel about Zabak. Yeah, I watch his video. He's a good teacher. But when it comes to the mark of the beast, he going off. He is off. The motherfucker in his clean garment is going off. Believe it or not. And I tell them that, but they think I'm insignificant because I draw pictures. So you know, yeah, he's not insignificant. I ain't gonna respond to his video. Fuck you! You still going off? Your ass is off. As we said before, so say it. I now again. So Paul re reiterated it again. He said it again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let that motherfucker be a curse. And I, you know, I paraphrase that. Let him be a curse. So Zabak, your ass is a cursed. I don't give a fuck how clean 
Your suits is how cool you is. I like your personality, but your ass is a curse. Your ass going off. Huh? Motherfucker, that's what you that's what's going on right now. And that thing seven. Let his ass be a curse. And you know, and I know all these damn comic camps get on the board. They say, why your camp at? Why you at? Why, why, why what's the significance of you, nigga? Let me show you the significance of me. YT politics. Let me show you my significance. Okay, this is the Bossop. Uh, uh, it's a popular uh, celebrity uh, website. I think it's a blog or whatever. Now, they did a, 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 a blog, a recent post on Jennifer Hudson. You know, it started out poor thing. Yeah, poor thing. She, she worshipped the damn devil and the Illuminati. Now, they use certain information to uh to broadcast that let me see if i can roll it up yeah like i said before this is uh this is from the bossa website now as you can see this is my picture i drew apparently they went to my blog and, and uh stole this picture and to use it and saying of how jennifer Hudson was accused of dealing with the illuminati you know worshiping baphomet i mean there's no secret these motherfuckers in into the Illuminati heavy. That's how they, how you think obtain their riches. And like I say, she uh one of one of Bafumet's best servants. You know, and like I say, I you know this is my, this is a, a result of how Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah uses my my gift to help spread the truth. That uh, now these uh popular gossip, the popular uh, gossip columns and blogs are using my uh artwork. To, pr to promote the lie, but yet in the uh, in effect they're showing the truth through my artwork. You know, letting them see how uh, the devil has his grip on most of the people that are in the you know high places. You know, but like I said, that, that that's a part of what the, the you know how the Most High uses me. You know, but so what what are he using you motherfuckers to do? So you know, so if y'all got got something to say about me man fuck y'all man you know the lord he has his his choosing that what, what he gonna use but anyway that, that's the end of my video and i hope you uh brothers receive some edification in that you know and i'm sure you have you know but like i say this is how uh this is something i wanted to point out so y'all stay the fuck up man and shalom